When you know about ASG, two things come to mind is the CZ brand, of course, our CZ lineup in regards to the pistols that we talked about. But of course, let's talk about 2024 now with SHOT Show. And of course, we have Bob here to basically bring out all the new products that are here. Bob, you have the floor, good sir. Awesome, awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm Bob from Action Sport Games. And at SHOT Show 2024 this year, we've got a slew of new products to show you guys. First up, we want to cover our uh, ICS offerings. So uh, ICS has uh, four new uh, airsoft guns uh, that they're excited to release in the US through ASG soon. First up, they have the redone uh, Ape uh, SEAG. So what it is, is everyone's familiar with the old Ape. It's the uh, ACR Masada style uh, AG. Really nice, full aluminum, you know, with the stock and everything. Uh, the older version was key mod, which has since been out of vogue now. So they've kind of took a couple years, retooled it, gave it a very nice sleek M-Log handguard, and then it'll still be available in black, uh, but now instead of an FTE color, they're going to be offering it also in this uh, space gray coloration. Very nice, right? Nice. And it'll come in two different versions, a standardized MOSFET version uh, and also a uh, triple S computerized MOSFET version. So that way if someone wants something fancy, they can do that. If they want something a little bit more standard, they can they have that option as well. And then moving on down, we have three new pistols uh, in the ICS High Kappa family. Uh, ICS released the Challenger back in, I want to say, 2011 or so? Right. Yes. And then uh, they've now uh, released three more models. You have the Legacy, which is kind of like a duty style 2011 uh, or high kappa. You have the Carnotaurus, which has a split slide and actually a non reciprocating front, very tricked out, you know, race gun looking with the little red flashy accents on both the trigger and the barrel. Ported, of course. And then lastly, you have the Acme, which is kind of the in-between, the Goldilocks. It's, you know, it's still a little bit more subdued, but you still got all the fanciness. And so all three models will be coming later this year, along with the uh, Ape. So that way, you know, you just have more additions to the High Kappa family that we know the market's kind of going nuts for for the past three years now, I guess. Right. Mainly the fact that our SpeedQB guys and everything else. But mm -hmm. of course, with now that you guys have that in the 2011 stack, of course, it's going to be a reliable, just like the CZs. Yeah, and, and these are going to be uh, full TM compatible, so you, people can still tinker with them and upgrade parts as they want after they get it. All right, so next up, uh, these two walls are uh, kind of part of uh, a, a new thing that we're doing called the Hybrid Series. And what the Hybrid Series are is, it, think of it, uh, uh, we, for the Evo, we make those ourselves in Denmark, completely manufactured, built in Denmark, world's first AEG, uh, built outside of Asia. Uh, for these, this new hybrid line, what we're doing is a mix of that. We're, we're working with some existing manufacturing partners and platforms, and then we're taking them to Denmark, and we're building the actual guns ourselves, putting our own twists and improvements on to make uh, a, a kind of like a better than stock models of certain, certain uh, guns. So first we have the H15 series, and uh, the bottom line of these is they are essentially uh, ARs with EVO level performance. Nice. Uh, we've got basically all the guts inside that what makes the EVO so consistent and high performance, and we put it in an AR body that you know takes standard magazines, so no, there's no more issues with that. And it's also still standard V2 compatible uh, and upgradable for people who want to tinker with. You can swap out the stock if you want, you can swap out the rail if you want, but at the end of the day, you're gonna have a very nice high performance AR, and it's gonna be in three, uh, three different models, uh, at least at launch. We'll have an integrally suppressed model, a S, uh, CQB slash SBR model, and then kind of like a mid-length uh, carbine model. Next in our hybrid series is we have a KCO2 based semi-auto uh, gas blowback carbine. So it's KCO2 based, so it's going to maintain full KCO2 compatibility. And what we've done is we've made some custom fitting and tweaking to uh, be able to drop it into our Hera H22 stock. Very nice stock. Uh, it's got the uh, M-Lock aluminum uh, forein with a very aggressive angular look. And then a polymer rear section. Uh, with the grip and the stock, actual stock body, that's going to be available in black, tan, or OD green. And it's even got a little Skittles compartment that you can pop off for storage of tools or snacks. Nice. Yeah. Uh, and this too will be available, both of these uh, H15 and H22, we're expecting you know, sometime this year uh, for the US market. All right. All right. 
And we have something new to show from Action Army. Everyone loves the Action Army AAP pistols. Uh, for the show, we decided to trick out uh, two, a, a full size and a compact with accessories from Action Army. All of this is available from ASG authorized retailers like Airsoft Master. <laughs> And uh, the new thing you see here are the nano grenade launchers. These are rail mounted grenade launchers. Uh, they'll fit any airsoft 40 millimeter grenade. Uh, here we have our 65 rounder and here we have a 90 rounder installed. <laughs> Little push button activation with a, a safety so you don't, you know, ND into your leg or something like that or into a buddy at a waiting area. <laughs> and these we are expecting this year as well. Uh, they're going to retail for about 30 bucks. So very affordable, nice little meme thing you can install on your Speedsoft gun or whatever it is for, for indoor play. Yeah, and I mean for these kind of AAPs, like I wouldn't want to pick a corner and everything like that with that grenade launcher. Ooh, but yeah. 90 rounds straight in the face. Yeah, but hey, those are basically the new products from ASG. You want to check them out, they're still here at the booth at SHOT Show 2024. But again, expect these products to be at airsoftmaster.com. But for this episode, my name's Mike. I'll see you guys next time. This video is brought to you by Airsoft Master.